Hello again. It's Larry here from Willow Bank Garden Centre in Dungannon. I just want to take you back to our division of snowdrop bulbs uh, a week ago. And here we have the tray of bulbs that we planted up. Uh, they're growing quite well. I have staked those up with little sticks and they'll remain in those trays until about September or October. Uh, the, the green leaves will die off but you will still be able to see the little bulb where it is in the pot by the stick. They will be planted out in position and as I said in September and October. Meantime I'll just leave them to the side in shelter over the summer so the sun does not shine on them too much. And I want to continue on today with two other sets of garden bulbs that you can transplant by division at this time of the year. This one is called Lily of the Valley. It's just peeping up over the ground at the moment. Again, this is a nice white scented flower that blooms in April or May. And I'll just show you how you can take a clump and divide them and plant them out. Again, it's just a case of taking the clump, tearing them apart with your hand. You will find that the roots take out two or three stalks Place them in a pot, a little bit of compost in the base, put the root in and just leave it with the bud sticking over the ground. Now that plant will be watered in and that will flower in about six to eight weeks time. That's Lily of the Valley. I'll just continue to show you what you can get from this clump. Um, Some of them may be quite strong, and you may want a knife to tear them apart. Again, I will put a little bit of compost in the pot, two buds sticking slightly above the ground. And I'll just water those in. Again, these are quite difficult to propagate from bulbs that you buy. They're easier to propagate by division. There are three and uh, you can see they've got quite a, a lengthy root that goes well down into the soil. They like to grow in damp shade. So there's five lily of the valley from that little clump. Again, they are good selling plants. They would certainly retail at um, between two and four pounds each. And they can be planted transplanted at this time of the year which is today is actually the last day in March 2020. The last bulb I want to look at transplanting today by division is a favourite, English favourite, which is the bluebell. So I dug up this clump of bluebells from my garden about 20 minutes ago. There are about 30 plants in this. Now for this one you definitely need to wear gloves. The, the bulbs of this plant are quite poisonous. So again, just tear it apart. You can see the little bulbs underneath the ground there in a solid clump. They're like a small onion or a shallot. They can be transplanted at different times of the year, but I prefer to do it before they flower. Uh, put them in their flowering position and water them in. So here again, about four or five bulbs in a clump. I'm using a one litre pot this time because it's a bit bigger. And that's bluebell. Again, just divide in two, leave about three or four bulbs in each clump. 
Now, something else you need to be aware of. Bluebells are a protected species. So you just cannot go out and dig them up wherever you find them and bring them home. Thankfully, these bluebells were in my garden when I bought the house because the house, our garden here was part of a field before they built the houses and these bluebells were growing in the, in, along the hedge. So I have propagated them over the past number of years and I have possibly about a hundred plants. Again, from this clump, you know, lots of bulbs. Now, if I was doing this in my garden, I would just dig the clump up, divide it, put it in a hole, another hole, a little bit, about six or nine inches from the original plant, and they need to be watered in quite well. But this is, as I said, is only March, there will be plenty of rain over the next month or so. So there's, there's five. And I'll get another five from that clump, which I will do later. So that is propagating bluebells uh, in the last day of March. You just can transplant them into your into your garden, or you can give them to friends and family. Again, they will be watered in, and they will grow quite well when transplanted at this time of the year. So that is uh, propagation by division of bulbs. That's the class finished on that subject. But I just want to move on today to the uh, sow seeds some uh, days ago, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago actually in Willowbank. And on just on the ground here, if I can get the camera to move down to it, we have lettuce which have been planted out, growing quite well, and in two or three weeks uh, they will be edible uh, and ready for use. We also have, uh, these are some more lettuce seeds that we planted a few weeks ago and they are ready to be planted out into pots. Uh, I think container growing of vegetables is going to be uh, quite popular this year because I think with coronavirus it will be more difficult to get vegetable plants because a number of the nurseries and garden centres will be closed. The other one I have potted up in a little pot is chives. Again this is a favourite of mine. It's quite easy to grow. It is part of the onion family and uh, very similar to spring onion. However the advantage of chives is when you cut them they regrow. So in a week or two they will be ready to eat. You just cut them with the scissors about a half an inch above the soil and the base will grow again and I can wash these and use them. So again, easy to pot. There are six there in a pot with a 15 inch pot. The other one I have potted up is parsley. Again, will grow quite successfully in a pot. I have here five plants in probably a 12 inch pot. Again, container growing, easy to grow and certainly far better than any dried product that you will buy. So that's just enough for, for today. Uh, next video we will talk about uh, propagating of herbaceous perennials uh, by division and that will be uh, scheduled for the first week in April. Uh, thank you very much.